Hi and welcome to day 12 of our Jesse Tree Tales. Today we hear about someone new. Now yesterday you'll remember that God had finally given the Israelites their special land and they called it Israel. Many years pass and there is a great famine in Israel, there's not much food. So a man called Elimelech and his wife Naomi and their two sons travel to a new place called Moab to find food. And they stay there for 10 years. Whilst they're there, the sons marry, one of them to someone called Ruth. Now sadly, both the sons and Elimelech die. And so Naomi decides to travel back to Israel because there's nothing for her in Moab anymore. And Ruth, because she's a kind and loving daughter-in-law, travels with her. When they get back to Israel, Naomi tries to find a husband for Ruth. And we'll hear about what happens in today's story. Naomi was praying for a husband for Ruth. She told Ruth to go to the barley shed and sleep at the end of Boaz's bed. Boaz woke up and was surprised to see her there. He did want to marry Ruth, but an older uncle had first choice of buying her dead husband's land and marrying her. So Boaz went to the town gate to talk to him. I could buy my nephew's land, the other uncle said, but because I can't marry Ruth, you are next in line to carry on the family name. Here is my shoe to show that we have agreed to this. Boaz took the shoe and returned to the ten men who had come to witness the agreement. I promise to marry Ruth, who comes from the country of Moab, he said. When Boaz and Ruth got married, their friends prayed that God would always be with them and give them children to carry on the family name. Soon their baby boy was born, and they thanked God for answering their prayers. Now Naomi had a grandson to love in her old age. The baby boy's name was Obed. When he grew up, Obed would become the grandfather of King David. Jesus was born of this family tree. And so that's the story of Ruth, who is part of Jesus' family line, which stretches all the way back to Jesse. Today, I've got something to hang on my Jesse tree, and it's a wheat corn. So that will go on my Jesse tree to remind me of how Ruth gathered wheat from the fields. I'll stick that over here, I think, on this part of the tree. So I wonder what you're going to make for your Jesse tree to remind you of that story today. Remember, you can always download our print and colour in pictures from our website, and you'll find a link for that in the description below. I hope to see you again tomorrow for the next Jesse tree story. Take care.